to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and before we get into today's video just a reminder some great news the design of experiments for 21st century engineers the mini tab version has just been released. I know for those of you unfortunate enough to have selected Minitab you have a great deal of difficulty in understanding this software so we've created this special version of this text with the Minitab screenshots. The link to lulu.com where you can buy this book is in the description below and of course you also have the option of purchasing Drink Tea and Read the Paper which is the perfect book to go with your Green Belt or Six Sigma Black Belt training. The link to lulu.com for that book is also in the description below. And of course the other thing that we'd really love you to do, please go to buymeacoffee.com and make a small donation. All of these things, the purchase of the books and the donations, they help keep the channel moving. I'm really grateful to all of those people who are currently donating. Many thanks for your support and your help. And now, let's get on with today's video. Welcome to the latest video. And in this video newsletter, well, we're going to continue looking at the use of some statistical software. We're going to be looking at SPC Excel. And the little tutorial that we're going to run today is how SPC Excel creates an individual moving range control chart. So we're looking at SPC Excel. I have to be honest because SPC Excel is so simple. It's not going to be a particularly long video. And SPC Excel creating individual moving range normally known as an IMR chart. Now just before we go to the software and take a look at how simple uh, this is to create uh, using this software, something really important that I want to say about the data that I'm going to be using. So I think I've got, in this case, I've got about 50 data points. I didn't necessarily need quite as many as that, but that's how many data points I've got for this particular process. And just something that's really important, these are 50 data points hands off. So there's no adjustment. What we're looking at is clean data. This is your process communicating with you so that the 50 data points are just the process talking to you. The process is telling you what it, its natural behavior is. And of course the control chart is going to put limits around the process natural behavior. A great alternative phrase for a control chart of course is a process behavior chart. So let's go to the software and take a look at how easy this chart is to create. Okay, so there's a, there's a page of data here. The particular data set that I'm interested in is this data set here, uh, model, model 2 as it's titled. So we're going to highlight model 2. As I said, there's about, there's about 50 data points. There may be a little bit more than that, but we'll see when we generate the, uh, the control chart now. Um, so it's very straightforward. You can see SPC Excel at the top. Uh, it's got its own um, menu on the ribbon at the top. I've got the menu item open. So all I'm going to do very simply, uh, this is very traditional with SPC Excel. I just highlight the data set. I go to control charts and then I could use the wizard where the wizard would ask me some questions uh, about what type of data I have and whether the data is in subgroups or individual data points. But because I know I want to create an individual moving range chart, I'm just going to go straight there and click on that menu item. 
it does the usual thing and it just says is, is this the data that you want to use so it's giving me a chance to, to change that data set should I want to at this point but now I'm going to click next and now the software asks you some questions about do you want to display the uh, the zones on the chart so zones A, B and C which are used for the out of control decisions of course would you like to create a histogram for this data and would you like to perform a CPK analysis and finally do you want the charts on separate sheets or do you want them stacked as they traditionally would be if you created the chart by hand now I'm just going to leave all of this as it is I'm going to have the zones and I'm going to ask for the charts to be stacked and then I'm going to click finish and there is the IMR chart completed now you can see some red data points here what the red data points are telling us is that actually the chart has seen some out of control data points so unusually there are some out of control points in my data set what I really should do is remove those data points from the data set and then recalculate the limits you shouldn't use out of control points uh, as part of your uh, calculation you can see one of the data points early on look is quite an extreme data point uh, the the other pattern is seven above the average and the pattern further down is two out of three are in zone a or beyond so a few out of control points the software will do that um, uh, will do that kind of recognition for you it will turn those points red and then you can decide what to do but now look you've got the individuals chart at the top and you've got the moving range chart at the bottom that was such a simple technique really really easy to use SPC Excel for creating an IMR chart and that's how easy it is to use SPC Excel it's why I, I use this as my standard Six Sigma software uh, if you've got a choice choose SPC Excel it's cheaper than lots of software and it's so easy to use really fantastic key points though about this chart 50 data points hands off I think looking at the result I'd actually got 95 data points so a little bit more than I than I thought um, but that's a good data set for doing a control chart it was hands off and the other point is if you get out of control symptoms remove them and then recalculate the limits because if you lose leave out of control symptoms in there it'll make your limits be wider than they should be and then the chart will be less sensitive to out of control signals but a key point the limits on the chart of course are not tolerances you never ever put tolerances on control charts these limits are calculated from the data and they are control limits they tell you the natural pattern of your process and that is the IMR chart using SPC Excel.